Hello friends, welcome to Srivali's kitchen. Now I am going to show how to prepare uh, tamarind rice or pulihora, the prasadam style. The tamarind rice we prepare at our home is slightly different from the one they serve in the temples. That is because in the temple they add roasted and ground coriander seed and sesame seed powder. This two ingredients add the additional flavor to the pulihora and the prasadam, temple prasadam. So we are going to try adding these at our home. Uh, this pulihora again is one of the uh, prasad we offer to goddess Durga during the Navratri. For that we need tamarind, a handful of tamarind soaked for about 15 minutes in water so that it becomes real soft and we can squeeze out the pulp easily. What I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze out this pulp, take the pulp into another bowl, then I'm going to add water to this and squeeze out water to the tamarind and squeeze out on it. You can do that for three times so that we can take out all the fleshy and the you know tangy taste of the tamarind. Then we have green chilies, curry leaves. I'm gonna slit these green chilies. We have the tempering ingredients here. Peanuts, dry red chilies, chana dal, urad dal, mustard seeds, cumin seeds. We are going to cook rice and to that cooked rice we are going to add these. There are two ways of preparing tamarind rice. One is where you soak a large quantity of this tamarind and just boil the pulp. You know cook it until the oil starts to separate. Let it cool down, store it in a refrigerator and you mix that to the rice and, and finish with tempering. Another process is where you are going to prepare the tempering, then squeeze out the pulp, add this pulp to the tempering and you let it boil. You let this cook. So for that you do it in smaller quantities, which is like almost instant types, though it will take about 15 to 25 minutes. So. I am doing the second version here just to show you. So what I am going to do first is I am going to squeeze out the pulp and then I will show you the pulp again. I have the tamarind pulp ready here. I have squeezed out the water. I also have the oil ready and I am going to start with the tempering. The peanuts go in first along with the chana dal and urad dal but first the peanuts are just going to start to make the sound and then I'm going to add the chana dal. You can add it together but I just prefer to add it half a second or half a minute before. Yeah. Chana dal and urad dal goes in. Then I'm going to add the mustard seeds and cumin seeds. Not yet. You can see the texture. I'm going to add the mustard seeds and cumin seeds. I've added those. Dry red chilies change color easily when in hot oil. So we're going to add those later, a little later. We want the tempering nicely roasted and nice golden brown in color. Meanwhile, what we'll do here is while this is going on, I'm going to dry roast the coriander seeds. First, I'm going to dry roast the coriander seeds, take them out, and then I'm going to dry roast the sesame seeds. I'm going to let these cool down and grind it into a powder. That powder 
will go into this mixture not now once i add tamarind pulp and the tamarind pulp is boiling then i'm going to add that mixture along with salt turmeric powder and some jaggery a small piece of jaggery just to balance all the flavors if you don't like you can omit adding jaggery but you will see that even a tiny bit of jaggery beautifully balances all the flavors yes you can see it's starting to change color now is the time to add the dry red chili once these start to change color i'm going to add the green chilies and the curry leaves here you can see that the coriander seeds are nicely roasted so i'm going to add the sesame seeds to it or you can remove the coriander seeds and then roast the sesame seeds yeah we are turning off the heat because the sesame seeds are already flattening just see how they're jumping around now here it is time to add the green chilies and curry leaves you don't have to do this parallelly you can do it one after the other just add some after the other one i'm going to add little now i'm going to add much more later on but if you do not regularly use after the other add little quantity now we are going to let this come to a boil so i'm going to put the heat on medium medium to high keep stirring it occasionally but once it starts to thicken up uh turn the heat to simmer and stir it more continuously otherwise it's going to stick to the walls and bottom of the pan and that will ruin the dish we don't want to burn the tamarind pulp right so all right this is done here so i'm going to let this cool down and then grind it to a powder so let's just wait for this to come to a boil the tamarind has come to a boil now it is time to add some turmeric powder so a good amount of turmeric powder about half a teaspoon and then we are going to add little more to the cooked rice as well and now i'm going to add a uh, two pieces of jaggery just to balance the flavor and i'm also going to add more amount of asafoetida now asafoetida is a very good combination for tempering especially in tamarind rice but if you do not use it regularly if, if you are not used to using it i advise you to add less a quantity because this has a slightly different taste and some people who find it overpowering okay. i'm going to let this thicken up and this will almost reduce to half or maybe even 3/4 of a quantity so it's going to take some more time i'm going to leave the heat in medium and other 10 15 minutes easily and then i'm going to show you the final part just before the final part meanwhile we are going to roast the cooled soya and dal seeds and sesame seeds and then i'm going to add the powder to this pulp and give it a good mix you can add it to the rice as well but i have noticed that if we add it to the pulp it gets mixed easily so let's let this cook i've ground the coriander seeds and sesame seeds you can see the powder uh, do not add the entire powder just add little by little and if there is anything left up you can store it in an air tight box so i'm going to add around one and a half maybe spoon that's it because too much of this powder can totally change the taste of the pulihora and also uh, give it a kind of a uh, bitter edge to it you can see it is starting to thicken up you can add the remaining powder to lady finger curry or just top uh, the 
you know, potato fry or something. So you can just add maybe half a spoon to potato fry or half a spoon to lady finger curry or RB curry. You can see this is starting to thicken up. It's also reduced in quantity. You can see from the line here. It needs to be reduced more. And it will take about another 5 minutes. So, I'm going to keep the heat on medium for now. But then I'm going to turn it to simmer in another 2 minutes. And then you also have to start stirring it continuously once it starts to thicken up more. You can see that the mixture has all thickened up and the oil is now floating on top of the tamarind pulp which means this mixture is ready. And I've just turned off the heat just to stop it from splattering all over the place. So I'm going to let this cool now. And then I'm going to add this to the cooked rice and mix it up and serve. If you want, you can add a little more salt and turmeric to the rice as well. But for now, I'm going to just let this cool down. You can see this is the consistency. The pulp is now sticking to the tempering. This is exactly how we want it. The tamarind paste or pulp for the pudihora is now cool and ready. The rice is also ready. It's not completely hot. It's almost uh, warm or it's nearing room temperature. To this, I'm going to gradually add this pulp and mix it up. It's better if you use your hands so that you'll be able to mix it properly without any lumps of cooked rice but if you want you can use a spoon or a spatula don't add the entire tamarind paste at once add it gradually if you want you can add some salt but we've already added salt in the tamarind paste uh, the taste will be different when you uh, you know when you eat it immediately and after three or four hours this is almost like you have to let this marinate. You have to let the tamarind flavors get infused and incorporated into the rice so that you get the exact taste. What usually people do is they mix this up in the morning and they eat it for lunch. Or they mix it up in the afternoon and they have it for dinner. And if you are traveling, you can mix it up the before day night, previous night and take it in a box with you for the next day. It will stay good the entire day. No issues there. In that case, you just have to let the rice completely cool. The rice has to be almost cold. Then it's going to stay an entire day without starting to smell. Now you can see this light color. That's because we've added turmeric to the tamarind paste. But if you want more yellow shade, you can add more turmeric powder now or to the tamarind paste. Just mix it up. So when you taste it immediately after mixing, if you feel that it is not as tangy as you like, don't add more because it's going to be uh, more better in another 2 or 3 hours. So if you get approximately a color or a look like this, it means it's probably enough. So we are just going to let it rest for at least an hour and then give the taste and then if, if you feel that it is not tangy enough, add very little tamarind paste to it. Don't go overboard with the tamarind paste because unless you can eat something very, very tangy, you will not be able to eat it. Alright, so we are going to just let this rest. And then you can serve it. So, thank you for watching and if you like my videos, subscribe to Srivali's Kitchen. Have a nice day and have a very tasty puli hotel.